hello hello you guys and welcome back to my channel welcome to today's video you guys as you can tell by the title this is how to get your life together 101 we're not just talking about physically we're talking about like spiritually and emotionally as well this intro is going to be all over the place but essentially i'm going to be showing you guys how i went from this bianca insert picture here and this to this <laughs> so you guys i don't know if you guys are like me but one of the things that i like to do is when the new year is coming i like to kind of like wait and like let the unattractiveness build up if you know what i mean like my hair was looking insane these brows honey were all over the place lashes were looking crazy skin was looking crazy but i knew that the new year was coming up and i was like you know new year new me we're gonna get it all together so on our list obviously first things first you want to get your spiritual get your mind right so your resolutions which i actually have a new year's resolutions video up on my channel right now maybe we'll link it below if you'd like to watch so that's first things first we got that out of the way the second thing that i started doing that really really was helping me was i started meditating in the morning so we've gotten that out of the way also i said i wanted to start working out and now i work out four to five times a week so we got that in there one of the major things physically for me that i really really wanted to get done and have done going into 2020 was i wanted to get all the hair off my face like mustache chin hair sideburns like whatever so i decided to go to kumi med spa which is where i get all of my like spa like facial like treatments done it's local to me it's owned by a really really sweet girl they're amazing and i got full face laser so i'm getting full face laser hair removal you guys will see that in the clip coming up next thing i did was and my lashes have been done so lashes were fine the next thing i did was get this hair done honey so i know you guys are gonna ask me so yes this is a custom closure install and it looks really really good mine i feel like is might not last as long just because i do work out four times a week and all of this sweats like we we go work out so but i'm loving it so far you guys the girl that i went to is incredible i'm not giving her information so please don't ask and i told her i would say this when i tell you she is the hardest person in houston to book with she will open her booking and within 10 minutes, sometimes five, she's completely booked. I had to wait a month to get an appointment with her. So yeah, not giving out any secrets. Brows, however, I will tag her. She did my brows so amazing. That was the next thing we got done. And then I think we got pedicure done as well, which was much needed. So yes, honey, this is how to slay the new year 101. Enjoy. So I'm here and I'm getting ready to get full face laser hair removal i'm taking everything off chin mustache your girl is hairy so yes 2020 i will be coming into hairless i'm so excited <laughs> Yay! Ooh. naked mole rat and then, <laughs> when you can do yeah your vip too and i have to wait two weeks after this right of course okay, two okay. weeks after They didn't have the cooling spray again. This always happens to me. But it's honestly not that bad. And she put me, I'm almost in the highest setting. I'm not going to lie. The mustache, it feels like a warm suction cup. That's what it feels like. But the way she was placing her hands on top was making it so much better. But it, it I would say that it hurt. It wasn't like make you want to cry. But it was, it was warm. So good morning and welcome to the vlog. So yes, you guys. This is how to slay the new year 101. And we don't care that it's almost February, well, mid-January because it still counts. So I just woke up probably about 30 minutes ago. I meditated and we've got our natural hair out because first thing on our list for how to slay 2020 is getting this hair done. And I'm actually getting something new. I'm pretty excited. I'm also trying a new hairstylist. So I'm really excited about that. She is honestly probably one of the hardest hairstylist to get in to see her books are always booked so i'm excited just finished steaming this lovely face of mine we've still got these are this is actually healed 
this is a newer one but it's healing as well it's just the scarring so and I mean it's not really scarring just discoloration but anyways it's going away so steam my face wash with my favorite face wash which is the Dr. Murad the acne cleanser that I showed you guys like a couple of vlogs ago steam my face which is something that I've been doing like daily I'm absolutely in love with that steamer best like $15 you'll ever spend so I'm doing all this I'm gonna finish my skincare routine and then I'm gonna head to the gym so I will check back in later So I'm waiting to leave. I'm watching some thing on the Discovery Channel. Oh, can't wait to put this hair down. <laughs> so finally heading to my hair appointment. I'm super excited. Like I said, I'm getting something different done, but we cannot continue into 2020 with this hair looking crazy. And I had had that sewn in for like, I'm not even gonna say how long because it was a really long time. It's actually pretty shameful, but that's okay. Took the hair down, washed my hair, like deep washed it, deep conditioned it, detangled it, straightened it to make it more manageable. So yeah, heading to, first I have to stop at the bank because my girl only takes cash and then we're gonna go head over there so yeah next time you see me I will have the hair of a goddess okay so I'm gonna give you guys the official how to slay the new year checklist so first things first which a few of these I've already done first things first are obviously goals or new year's resolutions those are done um, I actually have a video up about those you can check that out if you like second thing that I always do I get my house cleaned or I clean my house so in this case obviously you guys know I have a pretty large home and I had just finished having like out of town visitors my baby sister my dog and my dad were there and it was a hot mess so I had the house clean so that's done it's lovely beautiful so that's number two always start off with a clean house but number three is get a facial which I've been doing at home facials so that's checked off for me number four is going to be hair five brows toes are six and then number seven is of course to be at the gym which I did this morning and I'll do tomorrow so yeah that is your how to slay the new year checklist so if you want to follow along with me those are the steps we're doing so on to step number three which is get this hair done so yeah Okay, so I'm here and I will do my best to film as much as I can while I'm in there. It's always like a little awkward, especially when it's someone new and they don't know about the whole YouTube thing. But yeah, I'm really, really excited. So next time you see me, we will be ready to slay 2020 almost. Oh my gosh, and how could I forget about... <laughs> I knew there was a step number seven. So whatever the number seven I said last time is being erased because it's laser hair removal. So like I talked about, um, I am getting full face laser hair removal, of course on my eyebrows, but, and you guys will see clips of that too. That was actually one of the first couple of things that I started doing when I was prepping for the new year. So yeah, that's, yeah, that's a huge one. So, if you can't already tell, we got something a little different, and I'll show you guys when I have better lighting, but I'm in love, like obsessed. Okay. Lighting is popping and so is this hair. So I'll tell you what I got when I get into my car. It's the safety of my vehicle, so hold on. Okay, so I got a custom closure install, but it's not like a regular closure. This is a five by five HD closure, giving me all scalp. And we got curls for the girls and a little bit of baby hair. I'm like honestly in love. She does such a good job, you guys. So we just got back home from 
my second job and I want to give you guys a better look at my hair. I'm literally obsessed with it. She did such a good job. So we've got these cute little baby hairs, which I like. I think this and this is like a little much for me. I definitely love the middle one, but the side ones we might have to kind of play with. But yeah, I love it so much. It's so pretty. Um, we dyed my closure jet black. It's an 18 inch jet black five by five closure. So my security system but yeah i'm like loving it it's gonna take me a little while to get used to it but i love it like absolutely love it i've got so many compliments so good morning well more like good afternoon but anyways so this is what my hair looks like the next day when i went to sleep i just did what i normally do with like a regular sew-in i just tied it down and just gather up all my curls and kind of twist them around and put them in like a side Little ponytail. Um, so far today, I've had a workout already, and then I stopped at Ulta. So I'll show you the things that I picked up. Of course, all my girls who have frontals or closures know we've gotta have this for the baby hair. So I got that. It was actually on clearance for like $4. This is something I've been wanting to try, you guys. This is the Murad Post Acne Spot Lightning Gel. It's got 2% hydroquinone in there. Um, so I'm really hoping this will help with just like the little leftover pigmentation from those little breakouts that I was having. And then of course, some more um, of the Ulta brand beauty blender and brush cleanser. So now next up on our how to slay the new year checklist, I'm gonna go have a pedicure because honey, we need it really, really bad. I always get the same color on my toes, you guys know. I'm a creature of habit, so it's this OPI nail lacquer and it's in mod about you. It's the best baby pink ever for brown girls, so yeah. Little OOTD. I'm wearing my most favorite bag in the whole world. I love my Chanel Jumbo. Wrinkled little shirt that I just tossed on. Fashion Nova jeans that I'm gonna cuff. I don't know what shoes yet, but yeah. So heading to go get nails done. Sorry, toes, we're getting toes done. This one? Toes are done. They did a really good job. They always do. I used to go to a different place and then they messed up my eyebrows and I had to boycott them. So yeah, okay, I want to get food. She's starving. Okay, so <laughs> yeah, I'm on my way to eat at one of, it's not my favorite, but it's a really, really good food. And I just got a call from the friend I was waiting on. So I'm gonna go eat my lunch. I'm gonna go home and probably take like a cute little power nap and then get ready and go spend the day with my friend who lives downtown Houston. So I'll probably stay the night there and just spend like the day, the night and tomorrow there. Um, but that works out perfectly because they're gonna be home at around like four o'clock, which is perfect. So I can go have my lunch, I can go back home, get me a cute little nap in and then I'll go over there before traffic. So yeah. Plans are working out. My pedicure looks incredible. My hair looks amazing. I'm just obsessed with everything about myself and God. Okay, so we're here. Don't you love how this video is turning into something else? But I wanted to take you guys with me. I'm having a really cute day. I just have to get used to this. Like, it looks so good. I'm just not used to it, but that's okay. I love it. Okay, going to eat. It's gonna be so good. I am so well fed and moisturized right now. Like you just don't even, just don't even know. That food was so 
good. It was incredible. Anyways, so heading back home, I probably have like an hour to nap. And before I'm gonna get up and go downtown, and I need to figure out what I'm gonna wear tonight because I'm sure we'll probably go out. So to show off my cute little hair, my feet are so moisturized. I'm still a little buzzed from my margarita. And I did not drink at lunch because I know that I'm probably gonna drink tonight. So we'll just pace ourselves. But yeah, I'm gonna take a cute little cat nap. I feel like I should probably figure out what I'm gonna wear first and then like take a cat nap. Or at least have an idea in my head, I don't know. But anyways, yeah, so heading home. Next step is gonna be browse. That's gonna be tomorrow, so I'll see you later. Maybe I'll vlog tonight what I'm doing. It depends, so yeah. Quick, dirty mirror outfit of the day. I'm just wearing this really cute sheer top. I think I got this from like Trend Mall or something over a tank top with these really cute little like fabric pants and then my Christian Dior. D-Way slides, cute pink toes. It was, I'm loving my hair, so I'm on my way to get my brows done. That is the next thing that we need to do for this new year, new me transformation. So I'm on my way. I actually found this girl on Instagram, so I'm really, really praying that she's gonna be amazing. The person that I originally wanted to go with is booked until like two months out, and that's just not gonna work for me, so. So yeah. On our way to get our brows done, like I said, I'm absolutely loving my hair. Um, I kind of just bumped like the two little front pieces, but aside from that, it is just the same curls that I've had, but I'm absolutely in love with it. So can't wait to go get these brows done, you guys. I haven't had my brows done since my trip to Paris, which was back in August, my trip to France. So yeah, it's been a good five months, so I'm excited. It is such a beautiful day outside, like come through sunlight. So pretty outside. Work? Oh yeah, I'm here and it's kind of different. It's an office building. So yeah, but that's okay. I'm sure it's gonna be great. She's gonna do an amazing job. And next time you see me, these brows will be snatched. This is the place. Like I said, it's an office building. Kind of strange, but we'll see. So, brows are done, and I couldn't film while I was in there, obviously, because I was getting my brows done, but they look so good. She did such a good job, you guys. I am very happy. They kind of feel like a little intense, but I think it's just because I'm not used to seeing myself with my brows done, but they look so good. She put like a little concealer under there. I don't know if I love that, but she did such a good job. I'm so happy. So I found this like bomb lighting in the bathroom. So yeah, honey, these brows, she did such a good job. I'm so happy. So yeah, brows done. They look incredible. I'm so happy. I just have no idea. It's really hard, like I was saying, to find somebody that does good brows in Houston. So, we found her. Mm -hmm. Can't get enough of them. Oh, so happy! <laughs> now, if only this one lash could get it together. Well, you guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you like to see more vlog style videos like this from me, <laughs> from me, please let me know down in the comments below and I will definitely do more from you. Like I said, the first half of 2020, January is not going as planned. So I'm starting my 2020 in February and look at me, I'm all ready to go. New year, new me. So yeah, you guys don't forget to hit like, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff. And follow me on Instagram at Amore, all spelled out, all one word. I'll see you next Sunday.